Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with Major Geeks today showing you how to disable all advertising and sponsored apps in Windows 10. It takes a little bit of time, but we can cut down the process by downloading these registry files and you can grab this link in the video description. Just be sure to expand the video description to see the link. And click download now or either one of these downloads and you will get a registry file that you can extract, double click and you just have to click yes at the user account and then click yes here. You might want to back up your registry beforehand. We have guides on that as well. So let's go through this step by step because not everything works in the registry file. That registry file does most of it, but not all of it. So disable ads on the lock screen. Start your control panel up and we're going to keep it open for the whole thing. We will go to the registry editor once. So we're going to start now with Start settings, personalization, lock screen. Here's our personalization. You want to look over here in the lock screen area and there's Windows Spotlight. You want to get rid of Windows Spotlight and switch it to a picture and then choose your picture. Of course, you know, you could do a slideshow and go ahead, click whatever picture you'd like to use and you're all set on that. So now let's look back on the next step. The one thing about this is that there is no registry edit that's going to make a choice for you so you have to do this step by step and I almost forgot don't forget to uncheck get fun facts nothing fun about it all right number two disable automatically installing suggested apps this is registry edit so just highlight this right click and copy do your Windows key plus R and type in reg edit go ahead and click enter and if you haven't done it before, you just come up here and clear out the word computer and use control V to paste that code in. And this is really, really easy one to do. As we usually do, we're going to create a new D word 32 bit value. And we're going to do that right where we're at. So stay right here, right click over here, new D word 32 bit value. And once again, you can use that copy paste control V silently installed apps enabled now once that's done oops, looks like I already did it so that's good let me find it here I didn't even notice I must have been playing around there it is so by default your value data is one meaning there's nothing left to do that will require a reboot when we're done now you can close the registry editor as far as I know we are complete now the only downside to that is after a Windows big feature update, it may reinstall a bunch of those apps and change your settings. So we recommend O and O App Buster. Grab this thing; it's great. Uh, I don't know why it downloads so slow. It's one of the greatest apps on the site. Essentially, we have a video here showing you how to do it. And as you can see, you can just highlight whatever apps you want to remove. And rather than going to the Control Panel, which is your other option, Apps, and you can scroll down and start removing them one at a time. And in some cases, you can see you can't. O and O App Buster gets around that. And you can see there's a game bar that you supposedly couldn't remove here. Is that what it was? Yeah. So you can remove it here. Get help. You can remove everything you want from there. So that's my recommendation. You can pull 20 apps out of there. And when you're done, you just highlight whatever you want to remove. And I believe you click File or Actions. And it's in the second screenshot. File remove apps and it, you can pull 20 25 apps out of there in a matter of a minute. So trust me on that one O and O app buster Disable ink suggestions. I don't have that but if you did it'd be start settings devices pen and Windows ink So back to home What did I say settings devices Pen and Windows ink Which you might have and I do not you may see show recommended app suggestions since I, my computer does not support pen and Windows Inc. I don't have it, but you'll have a checkbox here for that. So that's done. So we can go back to home on that. File Explorer. One more thing we got to open up. File Explorer can show ads like when it says, uh, here's a new update with Windows. Click here, see what's new. It fills in a little spot right here. You can kind of live with that one, to be honest with you. But if you open File Explorer and go to View, Options, once again, click View. And you want to scroll down and find show sync provider notifications. Go ahead and uncheck that. Click OK. And you can close File Explorer. Disable app suggestions and advertising in the Start menu. Once again, we're going to go to Start, Settings, Personalization, Start. 
right there. And you want to uncheck show suggestions occasionally in start right here. And I also recommend it's a good opportunity for you to take a look and see if there's anything else in here you want to change as long as you're here. And get back to home again. Disable ads in the share pane. I don't know if I have a picture here to show you. I got a screenshot in there that'll work. So if you have the share pane you might see this stuff. And you can't do anything with the Windows built-in stuff but we have like this link here where it shows Twitter and install. You can right click and simply uncheck show app suggestions. So I'll just use the screenshot for this one because it's really easy to do. Right click pretty much get a picture. Right click on a picture and you'll get the share and then click share. It doesn't show it everywhere. So right click the share and click on whatever is down here probably Twitter and uncheck show app suggestions. We're almost done. Disable tips, tricks, and suggestions. Once again, settings, system, notification, and actions. Uncheck this right here, if you like. And that'll uncheck everything here. That depends on your notifications. However, what we're really after is get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. Now this is another section you might want to tinker around as I just mentioned. You can disable all your apps and any sender notifications or if you leave that on you can individually check some of these depending on what you want to do. So I will disable for example the Windows Welcome Experience now because I believe that is step 8. So they're both in the same spot and will allow us to skip step 8. So once again uncheck the show me the Windows Welcome Experience and get tips and tricks they're right next to each other. Now that you've cleared that out let's click home let's see what we got left we gotta be almost done suggested apps and ads so we're gonna go into privacy for this one and uncheck show me suggested content so let's find privacy and show me suggested content in the settings so go ahead and uncheck that and that's about it once again I, I can't resist Make sure you check this. Let apps use advertising ID. That depends on what you want to deal with. I kind of leave it off. That's my personal choice. And you can actually uncheck almost everything in here. And just because you're in the privacy section, there's all sorts of stuff you can play with while you're here, especially since we're at the bottom of the guide. So why not take a look around, make a few changes. Personally, I'm good right about there. I don't do too much effort with it so and that does it so grab that registry file or if you don't grab the registry file again just to make sure you got me just take it step by step we are eight minutes so that's about how long it's going to take you to do it ballpark and as you can see it's it's pretty easy to do so there you go all right we appreciate you watching as always click like if we helped you and subscribe over here with a little major geeks icon you'll click him and you'll be subscribed and we thank you as always for watching see ya